make some of the people at Calvary and other denominations or uh, churches for all the support and caring and loving that they've given to my family and to my mom in the last days. She uh, passed away Friday morning at about 1.30 a.m. Now, we all know that my mom was very dynamic with churches. That was her thing. Her service, memorial service, will be at noon next Saturday at Beautiful Savior. Several churches were instrumental in not only my mom's last days, but also in her life. The first church of my mom would no doubt be St. Paul's in Sherwood, Oregon. That was the church she was baptized in, later confirmed, and married in. It was more or less the family church. The next church that figured so highly in her life would be Mount Olive in Shelton, Washington. This church was in a small town church. Mom would teach Sunday school, vacation Bible school. At a certain point, she was involved in the Walter League there, who gave her such a support system while my dad was in the army and his kids were born. All his kids were baptized at St. Olive's, Mount Olive's. It figured highly in our best kids' early life. Mama helped Brother Tim and I memorize various Bible passages that we did for the uh, children's uh, program during Christmas. Amen. And this church that has to be mentioned without any doubt would be Emmanuel in Portland. It figures very much into the family life in that several of us were confirmed there, including myself. My confirmation class was really hard. <laughs> we actually had to memorize Bible passages and the whole, more or less, of Luther's small catechism. My mom was so supportive of that. She would help me learn that to the point where I became the star pupil of Pastor Andrew Schultz at Emmanuel. Now we come to beautiful Savior. Again, Mama be very active. Sunday school, vacation Bible school, you name it. Mom would be active. Pause for a moment here to more or less note that, that I give thanks to my sister and sister-in-laws for its support during this time. They gave more or less exactly as Ruth did for her mother-in-law, Naomi. They didn't have to do it, but they did it anyway. And that's very, very Christian. Christian faith is full of what behind the scenes? Often surpassing the male figures around them. Mom's sisters in faith at LWML, Lee's Guild at Emmanuel, Google Savior at Calvary, and Pope Lutheran. You are part of Mom's best memories. I thank you for being part of her life. We come now to Calvary. She loved Calvary. There was a certain organist who did a very memorable concert of classical organ music. She loved it. She just loved classical organ music. Now, of course, mom's gone. But we all have to remember one thing. Mom was charismatic. Once you got to know her and how dynamic she was, during the funeral of my beloved Lori, at the reception afterwards, one of my co-workers came to me afterwards and said, Calvary, this was mom's place. It was mom. They couldn't believe how dynamic she was. Now, I know this is not a regular kind of thing, but I would like the whole congregation, in memory of mom, with your Sunday school duties, vacation Bible school. We will, I would like us all to sing that wonderful, wonderful 
children's song, official gospel light of nine. Let's see your gospel lights, everybody. There we go. This little gospel oh, light of mine, I will let it shine. This little gospel light of mine, I will let it shine. Let it shine. 